are currently viewing a new video on the Pop Chart Prince channel involving analog horror and more spooky sh You are now identified and recognized as a viewer. It is important to like, subscribe or maybe, if you re feeling generous, becoming a member. However, for this video make sure to grab a snack, drink, or some friends, as this video goes in deep. And make sure to follow the protocol P, A, L, P, standing for pay attention, A, for as long as possible and L, for L, O, L. If you see a person not following this protocol then I give you full permission to eliminate them. Now on to the video. Good luck view. And the horror is funny. <laughs> you watch a seemingly innocent training tape and a germer from the hit video game Team Fortress 2 shows up. It's brilliant. Analog horror in the beginning was cool and fresh for digital horror at the time. And a catalyst for this was Local 58 and Jesus Christ Internet ruined this masterpiece. Not only the other series copy basically every horror element from the series, but also resulted in a snowball effect of analog horror series looking the same, except for a few exceptions. This soon led to one of the biggest analog horror series, which is also known as- I remember watching this, and it didn't really scare me, but rather disturb me. The idea of someone copying me is horrifying, because what kind of monster would copy a YouTuber talking about video games basically as a hobby? I never finished this series, but I do come back to it once in a while, and when I finished my previous video and involved a Lancaster League, it sparked a new interest in analog horror for me. And then I downloaded a few games which were probably Bitcoin miners on the internet. Anyway, on to the first game. The games I played from the series to me were mediocre. I played this game for my previous video in the stream. Why can't our pets escape? Hello? Oh! Hey Ashley, could you make sure to take out the security break room and storage room trash? I can't think of anything else, so tonight would be a quick one. Thanks, James. I don't trust anyone named James. I thought the games are alright. This game sucks. <laughs> but just needed more something to do. The first game I played was basically a slideshow and a point and click game, like something you find at cool math games. It was alright, and it was free, and I was broke, so I didn't think it was that bad. The second game, however, just came to me. I kinda just sucked. That's literally me. I got pissed off at going to school because I have to do work. What? The controls were atrocious and it felt like I was slipping on ice. P please! Let me control the game! Go! But after that mess, I looked at their developer page and apparently they also made a third game which is called The Lancaster League O'Brien State Park. In the beginning of the game, you get told that the FBI would kill you on sight if you watch this tape, but also the details about a murder which involved a Brady Coffin? Brady Coffin? I don't know. And somehow, when he died, he recorded everything previously, like some YouTube vlogger recording their every move. Yeah. Then start the real game, and the first thing you probably notice is how this game looks like a Game Boy Color camera. This wasn't distracting at first, but then I started trying to find the bathroom, and I couldn't see because of the trees and this horrific filter. I don't know if I'm blind or not, but then I found the objective, because the game felt bad for me, because I took like 30 minutes walking around in the forest like some lobotomy patient. You didn't start to go there, this car honks, because why not? I didn't enter the bathroom to shower. Please don't, please don't record, please don't record yourself. Oh, oh thank god. We then go back to our campsite, and Mark Zuckerberg is out there for some reason. Nice job team. Instead of talking to the guy or even just walking away, we have zero survival skills and go straight towards him. We don't know where the hell we are now. We are apparently in like the metaverse or something, and then our, our that's a dead deer. Something just starts coming for us and we die. Which one of you motherfuckers called my mom gay? And that's the whole game. Bravo Vince. This game is alright, but it's more like a point A to point B type of game, which is, isn't bad. But the game should have implemented something else, like an option to go to other areas. Or even collectibles. Or hell, add a shower scene. Yeah, you know what? Just next game. Next. We enter a building called Building 71 because it got closed down for a gas leak. 
I done some suspicious activities were detected in the building because they probably live in Wyoming or There's something. There's no such place as Wyoming. So then you go inside and record because you need that juicy YouTube content by next week to pay that child support payments. You go in and Jesus Christ, I've seen junkyards cleaner than this. As you explore, you discover new things about a cult, which exposes the truth about the moon or something. And within this cult, you find out that the members have huge beef with each other or something because they think the moon is cheese. I don't I, I, I don't know. You find a headless and that definitely doesn't foreshadow anything in the game. Then you find some creepy guys in the room with robes. You start seeing more notes that were written by the members and how they were apparently against sacrifices and almost like a revolution or something. Then you see the moon and Jesus Christ, they were right, what the f You then see a suspiciously placed television and then you get teleported to the moon room again. Then the tax man starts knocking the door and kidnaps you. I hate it when they do that. I think these guys like candles. Creepy music starts playing and no one needs this many TVs and he walks around some more and finally die. Leaving you and Greg have fully laid about camera from behind. And that's the game. Uh, it's spooky and you know, sh sh shit about it a shower scene. You play as Andy, who's an apple, who has an apple farm, I think, I, I don't know, it's in, it's in a title. You get out of your house after gooning session, and then you go to your friends. You actually have friends in this game, not like me though, and they're apparently having a picnic, and once you go up to them, they ask you to play a game with them, and then they explain the games, well, not really, but they explain the prize, your house keys. You took the key to my house. And then you play some games to get your house keys back. And the game's being fishing. Yeah, that's right. A fish teaches us how to fish. After messing up way too many times, I try to talk with the dog. What the dog doing? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I can finally talk with the dog and I'm sorting fruits. What fun. After that, you get a cutscene of a man and a woman arguing. To sum it up, someone died, dad's an alcoholic, and the uh, woman is mad. And then you talk with the moon lady, I don't know, you play Friday Night Funkin'. Damn! Another cutscene, you go to a car, more dialogue appears. You play I Spy with the clock. Something dangerous. It's right there! And then he turns into a deviant art Sonic.exe fan art. It's kind of weird. I don't think Andy would do this. I'm shaking and crying right now. Andy's my goat. And now your friends tell you to go to the barn. Oh, they're just in there. For some reason. You walk around in a maze and, and I don't know if I'm just dumb or stupid, but this minigame took me like 30 minutes just to get through because I don't know what the hell I was doing. You didn't find a pumpkin guy. You wanna play a game of tag? You run around and when you finally catch him, it's your turn and the game turns spooky all of a sudden and this game clearly isn't fair because this guy clearly went through the wall just to get me so this game sucks Caught you. zero out of ten I, I actually like this game, pretty cool. Didn't really scare me, but rather disturb me. Kind of like the Mandela catalog. 
I like the art, I like the story, and you know, it's a, it's a pretty good game. Should have our showers in. Now, for this section of the video, I'm gonna talk about Mandela games. And what I mean by this are games that include any type of resemblance of story, concept, eeriness, or creepy, stretched out, low hanging jaw faces. Still don't know what's scarier pirating Nintendo games, just a gamble with Luigi, or man made horrors. I had a few bucks lying around. So the first game, it's called The Assessment Examination. And this is literally just a textbook Mandela catalog inspired game. It's a police training tape of questions that are creepy, but not to the point you jump out of your seat. Then just like the Lancaster leak, you click on things that are either out of place or just so damn obvious. Oh, wait, no, that's just my Uncle Jim. He just got Slenderman syndrome. Sorry, man. <laughs> Why did I try to script? Then you see some dialogue which is written by a police 911 recording, and it's a report of someone who saw a kid at the park just standing there. He's just standing there, menacingly! Apparently his face is off, and he has blood all over him. Imagine that kid just got in a car accident and just shot him because he thought it was a skinwalker or something. Just a thought. The reporter starts freaking out. Stupid kid and some faces pop up, and you answer some questions. Then you finally pass his test. And now my computer's having a stroke. Neat. A commercial for a park starts playing. I don't know if it needs to make that. It's gonna be. And who could have guessed? It's another is not what it seems to be section. Haven't seen that before. And that's the game. Alright, so the next game is God damn it. So, first, it's a police training tape and yada 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 yada. Oh, look, a move of the screen. I like this. Now, in my opinion, this is better than the assessment examination since it has more sounds and voices rather than just plain white text on the screen. And not only that, but it also has some sort of build up with my mother being murdered. Hey honey, can you come in my room? I fell down. Now that's what I call good horror design. Next game is alternate watch game obviously inspired by mandela catalog and the reason why i put this game in the script and not an actual good game is because the game is unique this game has you looking through rooms with a flashlight to look for anomalies kind of like a visual version of a home safety hotline this game is great pretty sure i'm blind now because i kept dying in conclusion the games i played are usually basic or bland since it follows the same formula every time but if you select one of these games on a dartboard or random and you don't know what the hell a mandela is they might find these games enjoyable does analog horror work in video games probably i don't know also i've noticed a lot of these horror game things having forests which is kind of weird because like forest and ivy's here i don't know why people are finding a bunch of trees and grass scary it's kind of weird I found a small bag and like sugar in it. I don't, I don't know what that was. Hey, look at me, hit the jackpot. Look at this. It's brand new. No brand. Yeah, we got a hat. All right. Well, it looks like we got some hydration in here. And okay. give it a little shake. Give it a taste. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's 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 pret